How's it going, folks? It's Andrew from MAO Magic, and I've got a small video for you today covering the new features of the Jawbone Up firmware. So this is both the, uh, there's probably an app update that's recently out, as well as the accompanying firmware for the Up 2, Up 3, and Up 4. You can see on my Up 3, the latest version is 1.2.14. It brings a few notable features, including the uh, mode switching, as well as the heart rate, uh, actually tracks the heart rate now. Uh, heart rate will only apply to the up three and up four as the up two does not have any sensors on it to track that. While the up three and the up four always had the uh, resting heart rate that it would measure every morning while you slept, new is the passive heart rate. So this is what it's going to measure throughout your day. You can see today on the top left, it'll show your actual heart rate throughout the day, including that morning, which is the resting heart rate. And then you can look at the resting heart rate, which shows you actually the trend over time with the goal of always lowering your resting heart rate. Obviously not not too much, like you get to zero, that's probably bad. While this is progress, it's not completely perfect. One of the big problems is that it does not track during activities. So while you can still track activities as you could before, it will not you know, get your heart rate during that activity. However, it's not a huge deal because you can't really view your heart rate as you're working out, which is when you really need to see it. So it's good and bad. There are new smart coach cards that are going to start commenting on your heart rate now throughout the day and better ways to keep it down. You still have your resting heart rate cards that will show you. And if you go into your actual sleeping, uh, which is now automatic, mind you, it will show you your resting heart rate here as well as in the actual new heart rate section by itself. As I mentioned, it does have automatic uh, mode switching, so it can switch to sleep automatically now. You no longer have to incessantly tap the front of your up to have it switch to sleep mode. Now, this does apply to the up 2 as well as the up 3 and the up 4. So for all of the new ones that have those capacitive touch buttons that would kind of seem to switch modes or you couldn't get them to switch when you wanted to, you would have to go in here to the app and actually start sleep manually. Now it should just automatically switch to sleep mode at night which is great because it's a feature that many others have had for some time. If we look at the pros and cons, pros, it actually tracks your heart rate now throughout the day. It now can automatically switch modes, so you don't have to use that capacitive touch button on the front of your new up band any longer. And Smart Coach is always good, which is much better than many of the other ones have. It actually gives you like useful insights and actionable intel on that data that it's tracking. So now it can help you give you actionable intel to help your heart rate and how to lower that for your resting heart rate as well as throughout the day. If we go ahead and look at the cons, unfortunately it does not track anything while you're moving. So this is, it doesn't do it at regular intervals, which is like why it doesn't do that. It's only when you're in a stable non-moving position and it doesn't do any work during workouts. And many sensors are still unutilized on the up three and the up four. Overall, this is a worthy update, finally taking advantage of many of the sensors that the up three and up four have been sporting for some time now. If you have any questions at all, make sure you throw them up in the comments. Click on that subscribe button so I can keep these videos coming. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time.